Hey church family, Ashley and I just returned from celebrating our 10 year anniversary and I'm so grateful that the Lord carved out that time and two beautiful days of weather for us to enjoy the outdoors and reflect upon all that he has done in the last 10 years in our marriage and all the grace that he's poured out on us. I also wanted to share with you as we take time to not gather as a whole church family tomorrow morning, a practice that we'll be doing as a family before we start the new year. Uh, I wanted to share four simple things that we'll walk through in the morning as a family to both reflect on this past year and prayerfully move into this new year. Uh, and perhaps this might be something that you do with uh, those that you live with or your family or friends nearby, uh, those that you might be in house church with uh, to gather and worship Jesus together tomorrow in your own home. The first thing we'll do is have a time of worship as we just think about what God has done and who he is in this past year. We might sing songs. Holy, holy, holy is a personal favorite in the morning time, uh, but we'll take a time of worship and just thanking God for who he is. Secondly, we'll continue that by celebrating and thanking God specifically for his mighty deeds that we've seen him do this last year. Psalm 77 says that I will remember the deeds of the Lord. Yes, I will remember your wonders of old. I will ponder on all your work and meditate on your mighty deeds. We're going to take time to do just that specifically in light of what we've seen him do in 2023. The third thing I'm going to do and that we're going to do as a family is we're going to ask God for forgiveness and grace to seek repair in the sins that we've committed or experienced this past year. I want to look at, man, are there idols that I worshiped or where areas in my life where I went away from God instead of turning towards him? And we want to ask God to forgive us for that before we move into the new year. And are there any relationships that uh, I need to pursue repairing before we move into this new year. Lastly, I'm going to ask God and we're going to ask God for wisdom and direction in enjoying him, growing together as a church family and living on mission. We want to ask God for creative wisdom and direction and what it might look like to follow him as a disciple of Jesus in this new year. And I would encourage you to do the same. Maybe that looks like setting goals or things like that for you and your family. Uh, but for us, we're just asking God for wisdom and direction and what it looks like to enjoy him, grow together and live on mission. I, I hope that you take time tomorrow, perhaps even in between 10 and noon, to set aside time to intentionally worship God and be with him and ask him to help you reflect on this past year, thanking him for what he's done and also prayerfully pursue what he might do in you and through you in this year to come. We love you guys so much and we can't wait to see you on January 7th. I'll also be sending out an email tomorrow with more details about our 21 days of fasting and prayer that we'll begin on January 1st. We love you guys and can't wait to be with you soon.